Birthday Hawa, Birthday Hawa Shai, Birthday Hawa, Birthday Hawa Shai, Call Halayim Wahua Alahayna, Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahawa Shai, Bashem Rakakadash. Bless you, Most High Yahawa. Bless you in the name of the only begotten Son, Yahawa Shai. In the name of the Spirit Holy. Worst the names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, or the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahawa, and His only begotten Son's name is Yahawa Shai. That's properly pronounced in the Paleo Hebrew, the ancient language that has been returned to us, so that we can call upon our power with one consent. And the Lashwan Kodash, which is the pure tongue or the holy tongue. Lashem Kodash, name of Spirit Holy. Double honors to the elder apostles, the elder bishops, the great millstone, who well, peace and salutation to the elect. Shemiah Mapa and Mapa from the great millstone playing tables camp. Okay, Katie here in the city of Philadelphia coming again with another we am lesson slash testimony. So, um, yeah, the other day, and actually this had been occurring um, pretty um, often now. Now, um, I'm going to get a, a scripture before I go into it. I think it's in the book of Job. And it speaks about the Most High. This is Job chapter 33 and 14. For the power speaketh once, yet twice, yet man perceive it not. Right. And um, you have it where a lot of times the Lord is speaking and to you and trying to communicate something to you but if you're not obviously in the spirit you will miss these things and that's why it's good that we have the Rechak of the Holy Spirit and dealing and uh, giving us this uh, understanding through the ministering spirits the angels okay <laughs> through the power of Yahweh Shai how about Shem and Shai? This is Revelation chapter 14 chapter. The verse, the particular verse that I'm looking for. <laughs> this is uh, Revelation chapter 14 and 6. And it says, And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel, the good news, to preach unto them that dwell on earth into every nation and kindred and tongue and people you see this uh, we have obviously angels that help um, assist to us to understand this truth all right for the elect going on uh, hey starting with 144,000 Revelation 14 and 3 and it says and they stung as if it were a new song part of me before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders and no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty four thousand which were redeemed from the earth these are they which were not defiled with women different philosophies and such for they are virgins these are they which follow the land whithersoever he goeth these were redeemed from among the among men being the first fruits unto the power and to the lamb to the most high Yahweh and to Yahweh Shai alright alright and the elect are unspotted through Yahweh Shai The water for, of course, is a bark or the sacrifice of the Lamb of God, of power. 
This is the book of Hebrews chapter four, or 1 and 14. And it reads... But it says, are they not all ministering spirits set forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation? Ministering spirits. This is what the angels are. Okay. Ministering. Go back to serving. Uh, service. Performance of serving. Employed and ministering. Okay. Beneficent. Okay. And the Lord gave charge to his angels to protect the elect. Uh, yeah, so uh, pardon. This is uh, the book of. Let me see, I gotta get it. This is the book of Psalms. I'm supposed to find this one. Let me see. I'm trying to think. Round about. Let's see if I can find this precept. Just Google it because I don't remember it. Yeah, there we go. Psalms 34 and 7. All right, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 34, and verse 7. It reads, it says, The angel of the Lord Yahweh encampeth. Around them that fear him and deliver them. Angel. Malaak. Encampeth. Chana. Being to bend down. Lay a siege against. To encamp. Dwell. Okay. We have angels that are dwelling and camping around us. Okay. And roundabout going to subayab, which go back to the root, which is subub, which goes into a round in a circle, a circuit. Okay, march about and go about. So, you know, best believe when you're going about, the elect have protection. All right, you're no alone. <laughs> them that fear and deliver them, that's the elect that fear the Most High. Yeah, how about Shemel Shai? Okay. Okay, so you now the Lord He speaks loads. Yeah, the Lord speaks loads, but you got to be in the spirit. Okay. <coughs> um, that's why you got to walk in the spirit, right? Um, this is, uh, <laughs> this is, uh, Galatians chapter 5 and 25. It says, if we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit, right? Our course of life <laughs> to be in the spirit. You know, though we obviously in the flesh, we want to be more in the spirit. Okay. Because you can 
perceive and view uh, you know have that good perception you know, to look and to recognize what's going on and what the Lord how about Shemesh is trying to tell you because the Lord is showing some magnificent signs unto us that he's with us all right with his hopefully elect okay because the Lord is with his elect all right so you have here just gonna go into the little testimony so you have here this is a golden eagle right now, here in Pennsylvania, which I live in the state of Philadelphia, you know, you have, uh, you know, different birds. We do have um, bald eagles here in Philadelphia, too, uh, near, like, um, Delaware River by Riverview and different other places. You see, like, the Navy Yard and such, uh, South Philly. But um, <clears throat> that's just what they report. Now, um, like I said, this bird here, um, like, I, I see the, the, uh, this particular bird, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, flying about, okay, uh, if it's one, if it's multiple, uh, flying about, okay, and it's particularly this bird, you know, it's not no small, I don't believe it's a falcon, um, I believe they it classify these type of birds as rappers or something raptors um and if this is hawk mountain hawk mountain if this is uh i believe hawk mountain is actually in phil in uh pennsylvania too i gotta uh check yeah it's not a hawk but they given different um and i guess classification of uh birds it's not a bald eagle. <laughs> it's a golden eagle. This is what I believe it is. Okay. And um, Lord will, in the future, what I'll do is, I'll I'll give like uh like some video and pictures to Lord will confirm, you know that particularly. This is the bird that I'm seeing flying about. Now, it's like usually at work when people, uh, I say with the one guy, if he bothering me, I be like, yeah, you better watch out. My bird's gonna come and get you. Like, it's like every time he uh, trying to like, kind of like it seemed like as if he trying to, you know, trouble or put some hell on me, I be like, yeah, my bird's gonna get you and such. And, um... <laughs> Um, when I uh, go into it, like, um, I kind of uh, refer to it as the angels, okay? You know, the Lord just set forth a, uh, you know, a sanction for uh, beasts, you know, to actually do different things on the beh behalf of the elect, just like how um, you had, um, uh, I believe it was uh, Alicia and uh, Kings with the uh, she bears. You read that in Second Kings, the second chapter. All right, they was mocking Alicia and um, like these these uh, these wee kids. They were mocking them, and um, he put up a. a Basically a curse in the name of Yahweh, and the she bears came out of the wood and tear uh, forty and two children. All right, just because they called them Bahid and such. All right, it's real quick. It says, "So the waters were healed unto this day." This is Second Kings, chapter two and twenty-two, according to the sayings of Elisha, which he spake, and he went up from thence unto Bethel and as he was going up by the way there came forth a little children out of the city and mocked him and said unto him go up thou Bahid go up thou Bahid and he turned back and looked up on them and cursed them in the name of Yahweh and there came forth out, uh, came forth to she bears out of the wood and tear forty and two children of them. 
he went from thence to Mount Carmel and from thence he returned to Samaria he went about his way basically all right go watch out you know when dealing with the men of the Lord you know people a lot of times people do uh, uh, want to do us harm and we being a spiritual uh, obviously people uh, weapons of our warfare is not carnal uh, spiritual you know we as put it obviously the vengeance and payback to, to the Lord okay and the Lord hey he'll make it happen okay in his way all right so uh this is also Deuteronomy the 32nd chapter it tells you just real quick this is um Deuteronomy 32 and 9 for Yahweh's portion is his people the Lord's part is his people start with the elect Yaquab is the lot of his inheritance he found him in a desert land and in waste howling wilderness he led him about he instructed him he kept him as the apple of his eye all right as an eagle, and that's the, you know, the deepest desire, you know, apple of your eye, you know, that you cherish. That's all we are to you, how about Shem Al Shai, all right? He says, as an eagle stirreth up her nest, flutter over her young, spreadeth abroad her wings, taketh them, beareth them on her wings. And, hey, like, you know, that's uh, very, very nurturing no protective all right and I want to bring out that word for eagle which eagle goes back to the Nashar Nashar which goes into an eagle vulture griffin or vulture all right a large bird or large birds of prey okay and like I said these birds that be flying about like I said they're definitely pre uh, um, they're uh, they're predators you know that's uh you know, on it. All right. Exodus 19 and 4. Ye have seen what I did unto the Egyptians, the heathen of a dark skin, but they are uh, one of the sons of Ham, uh, being uh, t uh, today like, uh, be like, uh, that'd be uh, like your suit and knees and all that. What are you going to? Very tall people. But, uh, yeah, did, uh, did unto the Egyptians, and how I bear you on eagles' wings, and brought you unto myself. <laughs> Alright, and, um, you know that we were led out of, uh, Egypt. Okay? Um, you say, uh, as a cloud, when you're going to, uh, <laughs> Talk about, uh, and, um, that'd be definitely in the New Testament. It talks about how, I think it's in Corinthians or something. Um, which, uh, clouds are, uh, cold name for the chariots. Um, let me see if I get that scripture. I think it's like Corinthians, the 10th chapter. Let me see if I can get it real quick. You know, we were led through the wilderness uh, by a p pillar of fire by night and a cloud by day. Um, roughly paraphrasing. All right, we, we have defenders. All right, so, uh, hey, had a big chariot, okay? So, uh, which would be so-called UFO, all right? Yeah. Uh so let me get this real quick. Um let me see, where is that? I'm gonna try to get it. First Corinthians the tenth chapter, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this is uh first Corinthians ten and one. Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant how all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea, right? The Gulf of Suez, Red Sea, right? Gulf of Suez. All right, and we were all baptized unto Masha, Moses, in the cloud 
and in the sea and did all eat the same spiritual meat and did drink of the same spiritual drink for they drank of the spiritual rock that followed them and that rock was Hamashiach or Yahawashai all right the anointed one Hamashiach the anointed one all right that's Hebrew for uh Christ is Hamashiach or Mashiach all right but with many of them God was not pleased for they were overthrown in the wilderness all right a lot of Jake gonna get destroyed here all right hey despite hey you know you got the angels you know up watching um you know and um hey we're in new spiritual Egypt and you do have uh Yahweh Bashem Yashai with the angels um of course under the charge of him uh protecting us you know a lot of these Jake they're not gonna make it into the kingdom on this uh go around and um you know going into the testimony you know, I know it's obviously true because, um, like I say, these people, you know, at our jobs and stuff, they'll trouble us or in general. Um, I would look up in the sky and I would see, like I say, these, these different birds hovering about. And what happened the other day, remember, this uh, one worker, he was, um, he, he, he was, uh, he's, a, he, he like, he got spirits on him and such. And um, basically he was, um, being a uh, Nabal or fuel, I told him a particular order, and then he did. He was like, he he was he wasn't listening, and I particularly told him to do something, and then he didn't do it. He walked up, and then I'm like, yo, you you got to bring up the truck, and then when he actually, you know, then uh, brought up the truck, and then he was on the um, job site, at nowhere, um, you know, I believe a golden eagle came. And was hovering and it came it flew quick and it, it hovered and, and locked on like pretty much looking down upon him and went and flew or flew literally over his heat and it looked like he was gonna snatch him up like, like literally and I was just like and then um, it's funny the Benjamite cuz I always tell the Benjamite yeah like you mess with me my birds gonna come get you you know <laughs> being that Basically, when I say that statement, it says that my angels um, are my angels uh, are going to basically send. For, uh, basically, the Lord going to send through His angels a uh, charge to a, a animal to basically defend me, right? Which, like I say, it's very spiritual because the scriptures do speak. That's why I think about angels when I think about birds and such. This is uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 31 and 5. It says, as birds flying, so Yahweh will, of hosts will defend Jerusalem. Defending also, he will deliver it. Passing over, he will preserve it. Okay? Flying, I wap in the Hebrew. Hovering, flying, to and fro. All right? Also to cover. Okay? As birds, you got Tazapawar. All right, Tazapawar. Ka, which is as Tazapawar yum. All right, birds in a plural sense, uh, which is fails. Okay, they got little birds. All right, we know how birds fly. All right, we went into the hovering. All right, we'll, uh, we'll defend Jerusalem. That's going to be the elect, though. That Ganon, which is a pr defense. All right, the Lord is going to protect his elect, you know, and it's like, um, also that same day, um, I was going to on lunch break and I seen, uh, three, I believe it was three city. Um, uh, let me see. What was it in the city? What was it? Um, oh, uh, I had seen, um, basically what I had seen, I seen, um, some other, um, co-workers in the city right and in a uh, particular neighborhood that i was at right and um then it was crazy because then the birds appeared and they were hovering about um like right 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 when they had um you know particularly was um you know going by in their trucks and i was just like oh shoot and then i seen a fourth one and he hovered right basically down 
by me and I have that like um on video and I was like see look and I was like see y'all can't tell me the Lord ain't with me basically and um like you know this ain't no joke like you know that the Lord actually is he, yo he defending his elect and he gonna bring forth recompense for his elect because like I said a lot of people be troubling us in our uh day to day and such you know we need day nothing but you know the Lord uh high through the spirit is going to bring forth that vengeance, okay? And that's also on Deuteronomy 32, where it talks about the recompense, all right? This is uh, the book. Of, let's see. Of Deuteronomy 32 and 35, and it says, To me belongeth vengeance and recompenses. So we... For the different injuries and wrong that are dead, done unto us, the Lord is the one that pays it back for us on our behalf. He renders sh shalom, going to rendering. All right, requital, recompense. All right, and peace to be finished or ended. You know, the payback to perform. All right, the Lord is going to perform the payback. All right. The vengeance, the, the you have Nequam, vengeance, avenging, and you have um, um, their foot shall slide and do tame, for the day of their calamity is at hand, and the things that shall come upon them make haste. For Yahweh shall judge his people and repent himself for his servants. When he seeth that their power is gone and there is none shut up or left. All right. And he shall say, where are their gods, their rock in whom they trusted? And you have a lot of our people. They believe in other gods, especially that false god, Allah. You know, um, we got a lot of Jake in Philadelphia. They put their trust into that idol. They're going to see how about Shem al is the true power. They're going to see what it's really about. Okay. They, a lot of people, they come in at that uh, Allah demon um, of, of uh, Islam. And um, they, uh, like I said, they try to trouble us and stuff. You know, they think that's the truth. And, you know, there ain't no protection in that. All right. The Lord going to bring forth the true recompense. Now, let me get the last one I was going to get. It's another good precept, Psalms 116 and 10. It says, I believe, therefore I have spoken. I was greatly oppressed or afflicted. All right. We believe because, and, and we, we trust because, you know, we, we see like the Lord actually doing things. And we believe it's the Lord that's doing them. All right. <laughs> Now, uh, let me get the last scripture I was going to get. Psalms chapter 91. And it says here in Psalms 91. And it says. For it says he shall cover thee with his feathers. And under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. And the Lord is going to defend us. All right. Getting the elect out of here, all right, via his, the chariots, the angels, or it could be a big fathership, all right. It says, going down, this is Psalms 91 and 11. For he shall give his angels charge or order over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. All right. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. All right. So, hey, we are kept in the way. The Lord give orders, you know, to make sure that we stay in the way. You know, you be wondering why. You might do something stupid. You know, you might be put out of error in the Lord did that so that you can stay in the proper way all right <clears throat> this is uh, his movie but he give he got his angels with orders tazawa going into uh commandments okay 
that's ordained by Yahweh by Shemel Shai. All right, and that Shemar uh, keeps us. All right. So I just wanted to bring out that testimony. Is like I said, these, these uh oh, and I had a dream too of um, me being covered by uh, white doves and such. Um, I think it was white doves. It was like these white birds. They came and they uh, basically covered me by my um in front of my um mom's house and um and then I, I think I like I was able to like fly or something like that and I believe like I was just thinking I was like yo these people are gonna witness a miracle these people are witnessing a miracle you know and um you know it was uh, very spiritual like you know for that to come up I've been meditating so much I, <laughs> I don't know that the spirit of the Lord had me meditating so much you know, on um, the defense, you know, through him. Obviously, you have been charged with the angels. You know, our trust and dependence is in Yahweh by Shem Al Shai. All right, and we pray to Yahweh by Shem Al Shai to keep us. But we obviously know, obviously, by this word, these different commandments, these orders, that the Lord is not a man that he should lie, that he will, of course, defend us. All right, and he is. Him showing me these different birds and such, a predatorial. You know, um, nature, you know, it shows, you know, um, you know, you read Matthew, I think that's 25. <laughs> this is, uh, Matthew 25 and 31. It's a lot of good precepts. And it says, it says, when the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, which they're going to come back, obviously, and you have chariot, right? You have foes. Then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goat. All right? There's going to be a great separation out here. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on his left. All right? And it's going to be the sheep the Lord coming and delivering. The lost sheep of the uh, house of Israel starting with the elect. Two thirds are going to get cut off here and die. And in Babylon, the great America. There's going to be a great slaughter in Basra, which is America. All right? <laughs> yeah. Um, a lot of good precepts. Um. I think this might be the next chapter. They talk about eagles again. I gotta get that preset, but that's it through the spirit for the most part. Um, if I can spell carcass. Carcass be I don't know how to spell carcass but there's a scripture that talk about but the carcass and it's I'm, I'm I'm right near it but I just don't have it yet. If the Lord wanna bring it out. That's uh Matthew twenty four and twenty seven. It says, For as lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. For wheresoever the carcass is, there the e will the eagles be gathered together. All right. It's going to be amazing when the elect get, of course, uh, gathered up. All right. Lord Yahweh Bashem Al Shai is gonna have his angels come, you know, to deliver the elect out here, beaming them up. Alright. It says here in verse 30, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and he sh and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in, in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. All right, chairs. 
the angels of the chariots. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of the trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, the four chief cardinal directions, north, south, east, west, from one end of heaven to the other. All right? You know, hey, this valley of, of lamentation, the Lord is going to deliver the elect. It's going to be amazing. Shalom to the elect. Uh, hopefully you're edified by the lesson, you know, pardon for it being so long, you know, but, you know, um, you know, the Lord got a, oh, the, the scriptures also talk about the beast shall be at league with thee, you know, so that, like, I don't be afraid when, like I said, the bird come, you know, it used to be like, like, you get the ominous feelings when, um, you know, like they have it where it'd be superstitious where you, somebody be like, damn, when you see a, um, you see the uh the crows and such, you know, damn, like, you know, uh you know, but most people there'd be like afraid or something like that. When I see the crow it's like ravens and stuff, I think about getting fed. You know, and I actually seen people trouble um actual raven and actually the Lord actually uh, uh take them away from um you know, basically my uh presence being away from my job that have troubled me too you know so hey the lord is with um his hopeful elect so whole lord willing i be elect the lord willing those that are sincere that listen to these videos uh be elect too so you know hey be reinforced by this i'll bring out that job too as well i think that's job the fifth chapter that talks about it all right and it says here in the 23rd verse for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee all right you know the beasts here in the world you know um they at peace you know shalom you know be uninjured okay to be sound so look be uninjured okay the beasts of the field you know they're not here to trouble us okay you know, at least obviously we go to hell off. You know, but you have it in these last days. The Lord, he's going to really show. And he's showing that these prophecies are real. And he's really with his elect. So, that's it. Shalom. You call on him like Yahabashim. Yahabashim. Kaya Mbathka. For thy truth. Shalom.